Praise the Lord. This is Youth Pastor Aaron bringing you day 47 and 48 of M90's Memorization Challenge. And uh, we're continuing with the notion of God being, and Jesus being the ultimate servant, ultimate servant leader as well, kind of teaching us how we need to lead others. Uh, so we're going to quickly review day 45 and 46, which was John chapter 13, verse 4 and 5. Uh, so verse 4, he riseth from supper and laid aside his garments and took a towel and girded himself. Verse 5, after that he poureth water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with the towel wherewith he was girded. So today we're going to deal with God making, Jesus, he's just making some amazing statements here today. Uh, we know that Messiah was supposed to create and set up a kingdom, a kingdom that would last for all ages. And we as Christians believe that same thing. And he did begin that process. It's going to finish when he comes back again the second time. But we know that he created a kingdom that we're not familiar with. It's not the same old, same old kingdom that, that these Jews are, are used to. In fact, it's not a kingdom that promotes war and death and conquering, but rather this kingdom promotes peace and goodwill toward all, towards all men. And what an amazing way to show that and display that than by being a servant himself. Throwing and putting our idea of what leadership and what power is upside down. So today, day 47, is John chapter 13, verse 14. If I then, your Lord and Master, have washed your feet, ye also ought to wash one another's feet. And day 48 is John chapter 13, verse 16. Verily, verily, I say unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord, neither he that is sent greater than he that sent him. Some powerful things to think about, right? Um, we need to take these two scriptures that we're memorizing today, John chapter 13, verse 14 and verse 16, not just to heart, but to really think about them. Uh, when we begin to try to lead others, it's not about commanding people, commanding respect. That's what the world does. When you look at militaries and stuff like that, that's the way they operate. But the kingdom of God, the kingdom of Jesus, the gospel of the kingdom that we spread is one of servanthood. Hallelujah. Make a list today. Make a list of five things that you can do this week to serve others. Why not get active? Let's get active in spreading that kingdom. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless each and every single one of you. Continue memorizing, and as always, stay good.